today we've got a bit of a scoop for you because as you know on the everything electric show we like to showcase the latest and greatest technology in the electrification sector so today we've come to my energy's uk headquarters in grimsby to get a sneak peek of something totally brand new and we've got a little bonus for you later on so do stick around to the end welcome to the everything electric show So my question to you is, what's holding you back from upgrading your home with clean energy technology? Are you unsure where to start? Well, this channel can definitely help you with that. Or perhaps you think there's no point because you're not in your forever home and you may want to move. Perhaps you think it won't add value to your home, or perhaps it's not affordable for you yet. Well, my energy think they may have the answer. This is, this is really testing. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a little while since we were last here. Sounds like you've got some really exciting news. What have you been up to? At My Energy, we're all about removing barriers to a greener future. And the biggest barrier that we see at the moment isn't actually the technological barrier. It is the upfront cost. Simply put, this stuff is expensive. So we've been focusing on ways to make it as accessible and as affordable as possible for customers. That has ultimately culminated in the MyNG ecosystem, which we call MyNG One, now being available for zero upfront cost. For those who may be less familiar with the MyEnergy ecosystem, what's the benefit of having all the various different components? So the main benefit of having all of the various different components is they've all been designed to work together. So it optimises your energy usage to maximise your energy savings. So if we think about our ecosystem and the constituent parts, you're able to generate energy via your solar panels, you're able to store energy in your batteries, you're able to charge your car and you're able to heat your hot water. And all of that is controlled seamlessly in the palm of your hand through, through an app. And presumably because of the way that they're all designed to work together, it is generally you'll get a more efficient system if you've gone for them all at the same time rather than bit by bit. Yeah, you've really hit the nail on the head there. That's what we tend to see in the market today is due to the nature of the costs of these individual items, which aren't the cheapest. Customers tend to get one part of an ecosystem and over time build up into an overall ecosystem. The consequences of that is customers often are left with lots of different manufacturers in what we think of as a do-it-yourself ecosystem. And that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not designed to work optimally together in the same way that ours are, which are built from the ground up to work seamlessly. So zero upfront cost, which is obviously great if you don't have thousands and thousands in, in savings, but there must be a cost. Talk to us about the monthly payment terms. We've been working with our partner Hometree Finance on this who offer the most accessible monthly payment terms available in the market today. So that gives the customers the optionality from anywhere from a minimum of five years up to a maximum of 25 years payment terms. So say you went for a 25 year term, warranties go up to that date as well? Effectively, yes. Um, in reality, how it would work is the equipment that you have in your agreement, which could be all of the things I've listed, your solar panels, your battery, your charger, your power diverter, are all covered for the duration of the payment term, and that payment term can be up to 25 years. So what happens if you want to move house before the end of the payment terms? Great question, and that's actually the one I'm asked most often. There are two options here. The first option is there's a single payment, Second option is that it would pass over to the new homeowner who can then take advantage of having that peace of mind guarantee for the remainder of the term. All of this sounds absolutely astonishing, but is there a catch? Our purpose is all about removing green barriers. The cost is the biggest one, so we want to give everybody the ability to make use of generating, storing their own power, charging their own vehicles and heating their own hot water in a system that is optimised for them and their usage, designed for them and maximise their energy savings. And we really believe, working with Home Tree Finance, that we've managed to achieve that. So we've seen the benefits of having the whole My Energy ecosystem, but if I just wanted a couple of components, say on my wish list I've got solar and battery, how would that work? Really simple process. Step one, online journey, where you would go through, select the products you want, solar and storage in your example there. And that would take you through, understand a bit more about your house to then get to a high level indicative cost. If you then would like to proceed and continue on, you would then sit down virtually with our in-house designers. These are in-house experts who get a bespoke system for you and your house. 
At that point, the third step is to undertake the eligibility, check with Home Tree Finance. This usually takes a couple of minutes with instantaneous decisions. At that point, if you wish to continue forwards, you would then book in your installation with us and we'd turn up and get it all installed for you. So I know that the costs are always going to be totally bespoke depending on the system and depending on the property. But do you have any rough indicative costs? Of course. So if we think about our most popular system size, in your example for solar and storage, that would come out at about £90 per month. And that would be how many panels, what kind of storage? So that would be looking for around the 8 to 10 panel mark and 10 kilowatt hours of storage or effectively two of our Libby modules. For those watching, where can they go to find out more? So to find out more, come down to Everything Electric South in Farnborough, Friday the 11th to Sunday the 13th of October. We'll be down there on our stands. I'll be there with all of our amazing energy colleagues. Come armed with any questions you have and we'll be able to help you. Alternatively, come onto the website and you can go for our journey. The link will be in the description below. This is all extremely exciting and we can't wait to see you at Everything Electric South. Can't wait. See you there. So we were last here almost exactly two years ago. So much has changed during that time. This building didn't even exist. What on earth is going on in there? Yeah, so we've built a brand new building in the last two years. Um, we quickly outgrew the smaller building to the side of us. Um, that was originally our plan to house production, engineering and all of the support functions. We very quickly ran out of space, so we built a purpose-built facility. We now have all of our manufacturing in site, which is great to be contributing to UK manufacturing. Um, we have all of our support functions here in a, a brand new sparkling building. Oh my God, it is, looks so incredible, but it is also just amazing how quickly all of that has come together like yeah it's been unreal actually the growth um, I, I think it's gone before anybody's expectation we didn't expect this when we first started and we just continued to go from strength to strength I couldn't help but notice there's a huge solar array on the roof is some of that being used to power the factory yeah that's right and um, 30 percent of the energy we consume um, is from the solar panels um, and that increases during the summer months to 50 percent it's absolutely sensational you're producing your own energy to create products that are helping other people to use energy more sustainably. Exactly, exactly that. You know, we don't just um, produce a product, we actually live and breathe exactly what we're trying to, to do. So my energy has been absolutely amazing to put Grimsby on the map, I think. Um, but it's not the only sort of renewable energy company operating in the area. It must be lovely to be part of that green energy community. Yeah, absolutely. It's so exciting. I think, you know, one of our founders, Jordan, always does say that, you know, she wants to create the Silicon Valley in Grimsby of sort of the renewable energy industry. So I think, you know, we really firmly support that. And it's great to see all of the industry around us, particularly this, the solar panel farms and things like that. Well, this sounds honestly so exciting. Can we go and take a little look? Let's do it. So we've popped in here whilst I think everyone's gone out to lunch. But what's going on here? What are these ovens? What are these machines? Can you walk us through it? Yeah, this is our surface mount technology area. This is where we manufacture the PCBAs. That stands for Printed Circuit Board Assembly. Behind us, these are our um, dry stores where we take our componentry and we keep them in the oven for a period of time to make sure that they don't have any excess moisture within them so we get the best quality of the component into the product. If you follow down here, we then um, feed the PCBA into this machine. Um, as we go through, the PCB is etched with a unique serial number. This gives us high traceability, high levels of quality, um, and it's fed into our system. So from this moment on, the PCBA is starting and it's unique from a quality traceability perspective. We then apply solder paste to the PCB and what this allows us to do is provide the amount, the right amount of glue, almost an adhesion to the PCBA, so when the components are placed, that they'll stick and they won't move when they're in actual action. As we feed through, we then actually have um, a, a scan which takes place here again from our quality traceability. I think what is very special about what we're doing here at My Energy is none of our competition are actually producing these parts in the uk you know that is yeah. this is the jewel in our crown um, and we also have really high levels of quality traceability this is amazing so this is our this is where we pick and place the components we actually the parts that we took from the dry stores they're fed into this piece of equipment here we have the smaller components so these are the electronic components mm -hmm. and we place about six million parts every single month this machine is placing about 48,000 pieces an hour. 
Oh um, my gosh. What also happens here is we have the capability to check that everything is as should be. So the machine operates as per the program. We have a failure rate of about 0.03%. So that is unreal. Like there's very, very high standards of pass. And they look like, they look like um, typewriters and sort of old cinema. Um, yeah, incredible. I can see why you would make that correlation. Um, yeah, I, I guess exactly that. They're on a reel, they're fed into the machine and they're placed as per the, as per the program. They then come through. Now this is where, you remember, we applied some paste earlier down in the process. Now we're putting the PCBs into the oven. Um, these have 10 separate areas and they are temperature controlled to bring the temperature of the PCB up so then we actually can adhere the parts to the PCBA and then they're cooled down um, to allow adhesion of the components. Oh my gosh, so all of the wizardry happens inside there behind yeah, the store. We then here have our automatic um, inspection area so this is a really really expensive piece of equipment newly invested in um, we have this duplicated across two lines this lets us see if we've got any parts that have been placed incorrectly and it's really just reaffirming the level of quality that we've got throughout our whole process so that that's a really good piece of equipment and what about over here this. So as we head on down here, obviously the guys are out at lunch at the moment, um, but this is where we would fit by hand the much larger components. So the, the, the robotic pick and place can't fit these parts. We would do that by hand. We place them in the right area. We've got screens above, which would show the work instruction to make sure it goes exactly where it needs to go and it takes the part that it should. It then feeds through and then it heads to one of our other significantly newly invested pieces of equipment. This is our selective solder. So what this does is it actually solders each component unique to itself. So the amount of solder applied is not the same across the board. It makes that we have good fill, high quality, and we keep the temperature right as opposed to the consistent oven that we saw earlier. Then we come to the end of the line, the product is scanned out to say that it is completed. And then there is a visual inspection at the end where we scan to say pass or fail based on that visual inspection and it's complete. Oh my goodness. And then they head over here. Yeah. Any problems, they'll go into the quality area first and then they head here. So what we do here is we take them out of the panel. So at the moment we've built PCBAs where there are actually four in this one panel and we by hand remove each of those from the panel and they become an actual PCBA which then can go on and be built into our product. And so those will end up inside the Zappi? The Zappi, the Eddies, this one particularly is the Eddy. Amazing. Oh, I had absolutely no idea how all of this comes together so that is so incredible. So the PCBs have come out of that room and then what happens next and what is this snazzy machine? So the, this is our Randex machine. So what we do when the PCBs are built, they're stored in this area. So we utilize all of that roof space um, to actually store the products so they're kept safe. We know how many we've got, great inventory control. And then once we actually need them in production, we bring them out and bring them into the production area. Oh my God, so it's like a, it's like a huge vending machine of uh, PCBs. That's exactly it, that is it. So then what happens next? So then next, they come into the production area. We have our programming section first. So the PCBA is then given its actual program, so its functionality. And depending on where it goes within the world, it will have a niche special program to make sure it will operate wherever it needs to go. We then head straight down into the Eddy line where we're doing our production of Eddies right now. Our Zappi production happens on the other side. Um, and you can see here, we have a sequential process. The guys take one part of the process each, pass it down the line to manufacture, maintaining high levels of quality and ESD protection all the way. Um, this, you know, we really are proud to show this off to our customers. They absolutely love visiting the site. You know, we're doing something our competition are not. Well, this is it. I mean, you, we see all of these products all the time, but you don't always think about how they get made and all of the people that have gone into making them, bring them to reality. Exactly. So what's, uh, what's this stage? So this is our test area. So every product we make is 100% tested. So we have full quality traceability. I talked about that in the PCB area. Nothing leaves here without a sticker and a label to say it is fully tested with a serial number. So we maintain that quality as it goes out the door.
And then I can see a whole pile of cardboard boxes. Presumably they are boxed up, ready to ship to customers. Yeah, we're ready to give those zappies to the customers. Amazing. It's been wonderful to come down to My Energy today and find out all about their brand new proposition, the My Energy One, and to get a little factory tour as well. But My Energy are truly revolutionising clean home energy technologies and making sure that they can be as accessible as possible. And with their fantastic range of products, they're making sure that step by step we can all go electric. Don't forget that My Energy will be joining us at our Everything Electric South Expo in Farnborough in October and you can come along and put all your questions to their fantastic team. But if you've enjoyed this episode, please do like and subscribe. And if you have been, thank you for watching.